Hey YouTube, today's video is going to be about a Swiss specialty, which are shelters built into virtually every home. After World War II, during the Cold War, the Swiss government decided that every Swiss should have a personal shelter, or at least should have a place in a public shelter. And therefore, a law was put into place that uh, required every builder of a house to include a shelter. So even one-family homes were required to be built with a shelter. I think it was until last year that this rule actually applied. I would show you our shelter. Follow me. So typically the shelters are below ground. Therefore, in order to show you, we go down into our cellar. Please excuse the mess, we just recently moved in here and therefore not everything has been put into place. Here we are. Let me show you the, the key element of the whole construction. The entrance to the shelter or bunker is protected via a pretty strong door. This door is an armored concrete construction and it's about 20 centimeters strong, I can show you. This is my hand. So about 20 centimeter door equipped so that uh, people in the inside can actually free themselves. Little specialty, the roof or the ceiling on top above the door is enforced so that in case the house on top of the shelter falls, the, the entrance is protected from, from debris. Then the walls of the shelter are 30 centimeters of steel enforced concrete. The room has approximately 15 to 20 square meters. These shelves serve as beds, or well, that's what they supposed to, uh, to be. So one, two, three people can lie there and three people could lie here. The room is built for eight persons. This is the emergency exit also protected by the uh, same type of door as the main entrance, 20 centimeters of uh, approximately 20 centimeters of steel enforced concrete. The emergency exit leads into the exterior. You see there's a little ladder, some stairs, steps, uh, where people can escape if the main door is blocked. Then there's a ventilation system which is hand operated so even electromagnetic pulses cannot disable the system. The system includes protection or the whole room is protected against uh, pressures up to one bar. The ventilation system includes filters to prevent chemicals or biological agents from entering into the room. There's overpressure protection included, or well, the walls of the room are all about uh, are all 30 centimeters of steel reinforced concrete. So, and the whole room is below below ground. And uh, to give you an idea of uh, the strength of this this whole system, for example, in the case of the uh, Hiroshima bomb, people in this room would have survived at a distance of about 800 meters from the impact point. I think this is a pretty strong construction. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and bye.